92.3 KRST, it's Bobby G. And on the phone, Scotty McCreary. He's got a brand new album called Same Truck. Congratulations. It's his fifth album. How does the album feel to you, brother? Great. You know, I've been keeping this album to myself now for months, just listening to it in the truck and driving around. So I'm I'm excited for everybody to hear it and hope they're enjoying it. Well, you know, we're playing You Time um, here in Albuquerque. It's a great song. I found it interesting that you kind of, you wrote this before the pandemic, and I'm just wondering, is it a little prophetic? I know. It's like, be careful what you wish for, right? I, I definitely put that in the universe, but um, yeah, you know, it's, back then, you know, I was so busy on the road, and, and my wife was so busy at the hospital, and we were just not seeing each other, so I asked. If the world could just slow down, we could spend more time together. And sure enough, we we got that time together last year. We sure did. When it first happened, I said, you know, the, I think the one great thing that's going to come out of all of this is we're going to see we're going to see songwriting like we've never seen before. I, I think you're spot on, man. I mean, we had a, we were working on an album before the pandemic, and and then the world shuts down, and, and then it's like, well, what do you do? And you, you had nothing but time to sit down and work on things. So. I picked up the guitar and and played more guitar than I probably ever have since I was like 12 years old learning how to play guitar. And, you know, we wrote a lot of songs and it just kind of gave me that time, which was time I hadn't had. Things got started for me young when I was 16. So I hadn't had that much time since I was 15. And I think songwriting wise, it, you know, that's the silver lining. Like you said, it, it definitely helped me in that area. Well, we got we have a listener here. Um, her name is Aubrey. She's a huge fan of yours, um, and she uh, texted me and told me that that one of her favorite things, and she still does it today, is watch watches your American Idol audition uh, when you did Josh Turner, oh, wow. and, and and has just always been a big <laughs> fan. Um, and she asked the question, "What was that moment like for you at sixteen in front of those judges on American Idol?" It was nerve wracking. <laughs> For sure. You know, I've been practicing that song for a while and, you know, you only have like 30 seconds to impress them. So um, that's the reason I chose that song is because I was so young and at that point had a pretty deep voice. Let me ask you this. So now that uh, things have kind of opened up a little bit, um, how did it feel getting back out uh, in front of an audience? Um, you know, unbelievable. I mean, it really did. I, again, I, I use that word nerve wracking. I mean, it took me probably a, a good half a show, if not just multiple shows to get my sea legs back under me. You know, I mean, it's, uh, that first show back, I had like lyric sheets on stage, like chords, different cues. It was like, man, it, it'd been a year since sure. we've done anything like that. And that muscle memory was kind of gone. So, um, but just seeing crowds again and seeing people smile and dance and sing. I mean, I think we all needed that. And, it's uh, it's pretty amazing to see on stage. I saw that you uh, you were in your hometown for your uh, CD release, uh, your album release, and uh, you, you're even doing some autographing uh, back home. How was that? It was fun, man. You know, it's this was uh, one of the first album releases we haven't done like the New York or LA thing, and because things are still, you know, getting back to normal there. So uh, it was good to be back in my hometown and see familiar faces that I grew up with and, and see, you know, the younger generation come up. We, we went to the high school football game and, you know, that was there, the student section, that was me 10 years ago. And they were, they were all dressed up and ready to go. And it's kind of brought me back. So we got, we, we only got a, a little bit of time, but I just wanted to mention to you, damn straight. What a song. That's incredible. Did you talk to George uh, about that song? I, I haven't yet, but <laughs> I, I do hope he hears it. And I hope he loves it. Cause I am, I'm fired up about this song, man. I'm, I'm, if you're a George Strait fan and a, and a classic country heartbreak song fan, you know, this, this song is for you for sure. There needs to be a sequel to that song called Damn Scotty because I was in a relationship and her favorite song <laughs> is This Is It. So there you go. There you go. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, there you go. I, I'm waiting for the sequel, wow. my friend. Doesn't quite have the same ring to it as Damn Straight, but maybe we can work on that. <laughs> All right, brother. Scotty McCreary and his new album is called Same Truck. It's everywhere music is sold. Scotty, when you come into Albuquerque to see us, brother. Hopefully soon. I mean, we were booking shows like crazy at the start of the summer, and now things have kind of slowed back down again. But um, I'm hoping next year, if things keep going in the right direction, we can be full steam ahead and come visit y'all. All right, come out to the Balloon Fiesta so you can bring uh, Gabby and enjoy a, a weekend, all right? Oh, absolutely. That sounds like a blast. All right, Scotty McCreary, thank you so much for being on. Congratulations on the new album, Same Truck. It's everywhere music is sold. Can't wait to, to see you in person, brother. Hey, appreciate it, Bobby. Thank you, man.